What is up, fools? We are here to learn, to play, to do whatever. And this is Cells to Singularity. But it's essentially a clicker game. I don't play clicker games at all. But essentially, you're supposed to do this. Oh, I've collected entropy. Oh, I know what entropy is. Used to uh, buy evolution upgrades. So we are at home stars. Stars are the power source of the universe. Of course they are. Solar waves pour onto nearby planets. You know, like shooting gas out of a bum hole. Onto nearby planets and provide energy for millions of years. This is why solar panel is so efficient. I tap here, Earth provides just the right mixture of chemicals and an abundance of water in an oxygen rich environment creating in an ideal life, ideal for development. Cool. So now I got Earth, okay, alright, and now I can unlock the primordial soup, or the moon, entropy gains plus four per tap, uh, oh wow, okay. What is that? Give me you. Trigger quantum charge. Trigger this evolution to earn. What? Oh, are you serious? No, I'm not doing that. On the primary planet Earth, an atmospheric solution rich in an organic compound set in an ideal condition for the development of life. I mean, I like the idea. But no. So if I just click anywhere, it would do. I thought it would just be Earth, but no, it's not. Amino acids. Atoms and molecules bound together to create amino acids, organic compounds that combine to build proteins. They are some of the most essential building blocks of life. Fun fact about amino acids. Yeah, that's actually correct. That is a correct way of an amino acid. Well, sort of. It's, it's a rough depiction of one. Also, why is music playing? This is the same music for my stream. Also, what the heck? I'm turning on my media source because I'm putting in my own music. <laughs> music playing? Life created! Well, it's not, it's not life. Technically not life. Energy life is... Earn more entropy production. Well, um, add a accelerator. Oh, that is so time-based. Oh my god. I got another one? I got- Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my goodness, it changed. Another shooting star. No! I, I don't want to spend money. That's the thing. I think there's like other things too here. Why do I need to- What? Why- Why, why would I need to visit TikTok? I can already do this. Um, game transfer, what? Should I make the nucleotides now? I feel like that would be accessible now. Nucleotides! A uh, chemical compound that builds the foundation for DNA and RNA. Oh, I know exactly what that is. W what does that give me in return? I, g I can produce two now per click. I can buy DNA now. Again, it's not life. It, it's DNA, but does it reproduce? No, does it? it? It has order. Okay, it's like the closest thing to life we can ever really truly get in this game, huh? We need the moon. I want moon. I'm gonna get the amino acids up a bit. Anyway, um, how much is moon? Like, like 240 now. Alright, a gravitational force that exerts by the moon and sun. Rotational earth and turn the tides. Ancient ocean advanced life. The moon is born when the Mars-sized object hits the young earth. Well, that's that's true. Y you ain't wrong there. Holy crap, we're getting a bunch of resources. Entropy has gone wild. Anyway, how's my soup looking? Oh my goodness, it's so soup. Look at all these chemicals. So nice. Look at them just doing their job, making life happen. It's 
so nice. I mean, DNA is DNA, what you gonna do? But I think RNA actually came before DNA, so this is actually wrong. Because RNA is just, well, DNA is just two RNAs just colliding. What more can I say about this, okay? Oh, I really wanted to see the collision, though. That, that would have been nice. Protein! All right. Protein DNA is 100% more efficient. The building blocks of of living cells. Proteins are molecules made from long chains of amino acids. Well, you're not wrong. But it looks like we're going to need... Um, I, I want to get the RNA first before DNA. RNA. Making... Uh, what does this say? RNA is responsible for transferring genetic code from the nucleus to the ribosomes to make proteins that controls gene... But I think also just volcanoes are just better. Well, also it came before. I'm going with canonically, cause this this is a no for me, man. I'm a biochemist who has studied this stuff for years, and I gotta say that's not it, fam. But I do love the depiction, though. Anyway, uh, are we there to getting volcanoes now? Holy crap, these things go. Okay, volcano. I don't think the ozone layer com. I think the ozone layer comes um soon, doesn't it? Uh, plasma membrane definitely comes next, cause it's okay. So the plasma membrane protects the interior of cells from the environment, which does exist as proto cells. A carbon dioxide produced by eruption, prehistoric historic volcanoes warmed the earth and a major. A catalyst for making Earth habitable in its early stage of development. Yes, that is true. The first organism. The first signs of life bubble up in the primordial soup. So these are prokaryotes. Look at you. Aren't you all? Oh, aren't you adorable? Also, do you? Oh, wait. Is that DNA or ribosomes? What kind of organelles do you possess? I must know. What's this? Oh, there's some stuff. Hold up. Can we just... I wish I could pause in this game. No, I'm not. I'm not done just yet. Um, achievement. In 1806, French chemists Louis Nicolas Vaquin and Pierre Jean Romanus isolated a compound in asparagus. It was subsequently named asparagine, the first amino acid to be discovered. That's actually true. So they did do their research, it's just, I think they just wanted for just game balances, I don't know. However, we are going fast. Whoa, we are going speed. Alright, I'm just going to make the mitochondria the powerhouse of the cell. We were all told that in our biology class and we hated every second of it. Well, most people did, I didn't. It's really actually kind of interesting. I would highly look up what it does. First, it goes through glycolysis, and then it goes through, which is not even in the mitochondria. It goes through the Krebs cycle, and then it goes, is the Krebs cycle even in the mitochondria? And then it goes through the electron transport chain. So, there's just a lot of stuff to go in. Anyway, prokaryote cells are 25% more efficient. How much energy does that give me? Like 28 sec per second of entropy? It's not bad, that's not bad. A nucleus is a cell control center. I get, we were all kind of told that on as well, so whatever. A cell's control system. Okay, center nucleus contains chromosomes that house DNA, which is also true. And then we get here. Oh, oh, we got our first eukaryotic cells. They actually did a good job. I'm. If I were to actually give this a grade, uh, I would say. Your information is great, but you also made this into a game, so I would just give you an A+, plus just for the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, we unlock to the virus stage. Viruses! A virus is a biological agent that replicates within other cells. Surprisingly, it is not a virus affiliated to, it, to infiltrate the DNA of the organism. Humans might not even, ex might not even exist, it, which is very true. Viruses were specifically used to inhabit cells, not just humans. I feel like most people don't even know why that is a thing. 
I don't think even most people even know that's a thing. All right, bacteria are unicellular microorganisms that have cell walls, but none of the organelles that make up the multicellular organisms. While some can make you sick, most bacteria are harmless and may even, many are actually necessary for you to survive. Kind of funny how we actually treat bacteria as such garbage. And now we got is mitosis. A process of asexual reproduction. Yes, I said sexual, YouTube, so do not. Uh, reproduction, where one cell divides into two identical cells. It occurs only in eukaryotic cells, enabled single cell organisms to multiply. Even though it does occur in eukaryotic cells, it also occurs in prokaryotic cells as well, which is another thing that most people do not think about too much, especially in this game, because I don't know why they would ignore that in general. But that is a thing that does occur. Oh, hello, an achievement. A dip in the gene pool, DNA or deoxyribonucleic ri Again, why does this word always trip me up? DNA or deoxyribonucleic deo Frick, I, I feel like they spelled that wrong. Deoxyribo Frick! Deoxyrib Deox Deoxyribonucleic acid is the blueprint for all living things and it contains genetic data needed for creatures to reproduce. Why did that take me so long to say? Eukaryotic cells! Holy crap! We got a lot of stuff. And yes, that is what a eukaryotic cell looks like. It has organelles. And that's basically the only thing that keeps it from identifying as a eukaryotic. Other things. Anyway, Earth's looking pretty good, not gonna lie. It's looking sexy. Oh, filter feeding is a great way. Uh, asexual reproduction, filter feeding, tissue, yes. Yes, tissue. Tissues are a group of cells that are, are come together to form a specific function. Organs are formed by groups of tissue. Actually, I should probably read up what a pro eukaryotic does, huh? The prokaryotic cells are more complex cousins. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus to store genetic information, like, okay. Fungi, plants, animals, protozoas are built of eukaryo eukaryotic cells. I feel like that's a straight up reference to Wikipedia because I've seen that a lot. I'm so glad I got rid of the copyright music in this. Holy heck. Alright, we are at the 6,000 mark. So, cytoplasm. It's a gel like su. Why did I say substance? Colorless substance. That fills the inside of the of eukaryotes. Why didn't I get this earlier? It is secured by a cell membrane and all the organelles float in it. It's also due to, you know, something called something called glycolysis. I said this before, but I can't really remember. <laughs> uh, filter feeder, a passive way of fighting nutri nutrition. Nu Why can't I read today? Passive way of fighting nutri nu nourishment involving having a nutrients filtered through an organism's body. This is the feeding method of choice for shell shellfish, krill, and sponges. Sponges. Anyway, um, in game it gives eukaryotic cells a more efficiency. Cause why not? Uh, did the? Hang on a moment. Did, did, how how long did sponges exist for? I feel like the ozone layer would be like one of the ozone layer is a stratosphere that protects the earth the planet from ultraviolet radiation over time human population had damaged this I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab it cuz cuz I also generate like what 27 per click now oh frick I the one becomes the many first multicellular organism emerged it's a sponge. <gasps> Just put a tie and square pants on that bad boy and it's Spongebob. Also, what the heck? Oh dang, we got, we got 3D view, kinda. 
the fir world's first multicellular organism. The sponges are stationary filter feeders. They are a product of multiple eukaryotic cells coming together. Yes. Um, what what is this? Um, okay, it's asexual reproduction. Similar to mitosis, asexual reproduction is the process by which an, an entire organism is produced from a single parent. Some types of asexual reproduction are budding, sporification, and... Oh, frick. Parthenia genius. Nailed it. Oh, heck yeah! Sexual reproduction. Let's go! Uh, why am I still doing YouTube at this point? Oh. Oh, I like the crew drawings though, they're nice. I got the time flux. Why would I need a time flux when I have finger? It's like, yes, people can outsmart me, but I, I fail to see anyone outsmart bullets. That is a quote from Heavy from Team Fortress. I have seen a, I just, I've seen a few clips. <laughs> And, by the way, they are hilarious. <laughs> I would watch it if if given the chance. Uh, acids? Acids everywhere! Ah! 